Hey everyone, this is Kalyan Kumar this side and welcome to the video that we are doing on the IUPAC nomenclature of various organic compounds and in this particular video we are going to tackle cyclic amides. So let's get on with it and let's understand what cyclic amides are. Cyclic amides, as the name would suggest, are ring-based amides where the amide carbon and nitrogen happen to be the part of the ring. So a cyclic amide sometimes would look like this. Looks very similar to the cyclic ester where instead of the nitrogen we had oxygen. And the similarity doesn't end there only. We also have the naming which is pretty similar to that of a cyclic ketone. Now remember how did we do cyclic ketone? Check back on the previous videos, you'll find a separate video on the naming of cyclic, uh, 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 not, not ketones, I'm talking about the cyclic esters. Please go through that and you'll be able to figure out how to name amides also. Now what did we do with the case of cyclic esters? We named them as a derivative of cyclic ketone. And this ether type oxygen was actually treated like an ether type ring oxygen. We used to call it oxa. So what we would do is we would, let me get the pen right here. We would name this as, number this as one, this as two, and we used to call it two oxa. The ether type oxygen is oxa, cyclo, hexa, known. Very similar is the way that we name cyclic amides. Number this is one, number this is two. Now instead of oxa, we call it aza or aza. It's two aza, cyclo, hexa, known. This is the basic parent name. You got substituents here. They would be the prefix. If the N is also substituted by an alkyl group, that will come first. N alkyl, then all the substituents on the ring and then followed by 2 as a cyclohexa known. So let's see the rules now. In naming lactams, first count the number of atoms in the ring and name the ring like that of a cyclic ketone. So what is the number of the carbonyl carbon? The numbering is done by considering the carbonyl carbon as one. What about nitrogen? The nitrogen atom which is part of the ring is given number two and then number is given in that particular direction. Okay, so what's the parent name? The lactam is named as two as a cycloalka known where as a is the name given to the ether type ring nitrogen. All right, what about all the substituents on the ring? The names of all the substituents are mentioned with position numbers followed by two as a cycloalkalone. What if the N is also substituted? For N substituted lactams, the substitutions of nitrogen are mentioned first, which is followed by the name of the lactam. So let's see some examples and you'll be able to, you know, sort of understand the naming much better. So as usual that we do in all the videos, I want you to pause the video right now. I want you to name it, number it first, name it, and then play back the video to check your answer. So what kind of a uh, cyclic amide is this? This fellow will start with N-methyl, because there's a methyl here. N-methyl, two as a cyclohexanone, because the numbering is done this way. So this is two as a cyclohexanone, and there's an N-methyl. Try naming this one. Pause, name, play. And the numbering is pretty simple. Carbon to carbon gets one, N gets two. And what do we now start the name with? We start the name with the alkyl group sitting on N. It's N isopropyl 4 ethyl. It's N isopropyl 4 ethyl 7 7 dimethyl. 2 as a cyclohept 5N own. 
एन आइसोप्रोपिल फोर एथिल सेवन सेवन डायमेथिल टू एज आर साइक्लो हेप फाइव एन ओन लेट्स डू समथिंग विच इज प्रिटी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड नाउ दिस वुल डेफिनेटली लुक स्केरी बट डोंट वरी यू विल बी एबल टू हैंडल इट इट्स प्रिटी ईजी सो फर्स्ट डू द नंबरिंग एंड द नंबरिंग इज द सिंपलेस्ट द कार्बनल कार्बन विल गेट वन सो पॉज द वीडियो नेम इट एंड देन चेक बैक सो आई एम डूइंग द नंबरिंग हेयर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन So it's a seven-membered ring. So first, write the base name. It is two as a cyclo hepta because there are two double bonds. Hepta four six di n on. Now comes all the substituents on the ring. So let's number them first. This one is one, two, three, four, the one on N. Then one, two, three, four, the one on the seventh carbon. One, two, three, sixth carbon. One, two, third carbon. So I think we're going to get this one first. It's got four carbons. It's butyl. So this is going to be, uh, I mean, if you look at the beginning, it's going to be seven, seven, but one n three ionyl sitting on seven. Um, then I think we'll have three, three. a uh, three or uh, no i think it's going to be five five is ethyl so five is ethyl this fellow so five ethyl then look at three three is one ethyl ethyl One ethyl ethanol, and four methyl. Then four methyl, then six prop to ionyl. I think that uh, ends the substitutions on the ring. and that is followed by this two as a blah 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 and then the beginning has to be with n is going to be n and this is going to be 3 methyl 3 methyl but 2 anyl and then the entire name so let's check that out N three methyl but two anyl seven but one and three anyl five ethyl three one ethyl ethyl four methyl six prop two anyl two as a cyclo hepta four six dien own. All right. So what happens when the uh, ring is not having the amide on it? Rather, the amide is attached outside the ring. well if the amide is attached outside the ring let's say something like this then if this were an acid we would have called it cyclohexane no space by the way carboxylic acid this is going to be cyclohexane carboxa carbox amide so the next point is if an amide group exists outside a ring and is attached to the acyl carbon then the amide is named as cycloalkane carboxamide so what would you name this as this is going to be cyclopentane carboxamide So that 
is the end of the IUPAC nomenclature of cyclic amides. I hope uh, you were able to use this video to understand how the naming is done. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any doubts, queries, anything that you have, drop into the comment section below. And um, we hope these series of videos keep helping you and your comments are welcome. And with that, I thank you for watching this video. Thank you so much.